me show you how to tear down a legacy. Fight so hard to be a part of things that can never better me, a better me, at least that's what I try to be. Until someone who doesn't look like me starts to come to me and test me just to see how far that they can take it. And I know that you probably pray to God, but I thank God for Marvin, cause many nights without him I probably never made it. Many times I search and I pray for improvement. Like maybe if I believe in myself just a little bit more then I can do it and the world fucks me so. I'll never be celibate and let all of the little black girls know ahead of time that we'll never be feminists. I mean, after all, we're not even fighting for the same shit. This ain't the same movement. They're fighting for voices to be heard. I'm loud. I'm gonna be heard regardless. Then maybe this is my blackness, but I'll accept that. And on behalf of the black delegation, we want to give Wes back. At least until he comes back down to earth. Then again, they did say that you'll never know the true feeling of a blessing under the Kardashian curse. So let me show you how to tear down a legacy. That even when the proof ain't in the pudding, white girls will always do something that they shouldn't and then apologize years later like, oh my God, it was totally a mistake. And Uncle Sam, you can keep my taxes because my reparations are still late. I mean, since you said it was a choice. Like, we wanted to pick cotton and don't tell me what he meant, bitch. You should have said it properly. Cause honestly, the only problem that we're having with celebrities is them not utilizing their platforms to the highest capabilities. I know it's hard not to be shallow. When the person that you land next to thinks how deep you are is a reference to how good she can swallow, nigga, when it all falls down, will you realize that you are a champion? And I know it's bittersweet that you dissed the gold digger, but when after one, it's obvious that this is either who you were always were or you just acting out, so because of you, I'm gonna finish college, nigga. No more dropping out.